So we continue with more elaborated uh, AQL statement. So in this one, we want the source IP and I want AQL to count those for me as this uh, gathering those, putting it in a column name total next to source IP, as we see here, uh, from events where the source IP is not null, group by source IP. We can sort that in ascending order by putting the order by total, which is the name of that column, ascending. We can limit to the first three by adding the limit. And if we want to put the time, uh, we put the last three hours and that is uh, what we get. But in, in, in the important thing is in here is to get this count that is actually as it gathers every one of the elements, is giving you, is providing you the count uh, for them. And just in case you haven't seen the previous videos, all these uh, AQL commands are available in a box link, uh, uh, or a link to a box folder whose URL is in the video description. Here's another example where we want the usernames in my system. I want you to count the times that you found those and put it in as the column total from event group by username. And if we make the search for the last four hours, we get more of those uh, entries. And if we want this uh, sorted, by quantity here, by total, we put order by total in order descending. But I don't like this not available here. Let's say I want to make a, a nice report out of this search and I don't want that not available there. Then all I have to do is add where username is not null and that gets rid of that ugly not available entry. Notice that you always have to put the time at the end of your uh, statement. This can be a useful search. Uh, if I want all the event names and I want to count them to actually see them, but all I need to do is get the QID description from the QID from the, with that function, put them as event name, that's the name of the column, we put it uh, between double quotes because there's a space in it, uh, put the count on it, as total from events group by QID. If I want to sort them, I just put order by total in order descending. If you don't specify ascending or descending, the default is ascending. And I can actually show the or oh, the last, I can limit the number, I can actually look for the last uh, four hours. and get even more data. Here's another interesting one. If I want to see which are my most uh, uh, you know, talkative log sources, I can select the log source name from the log source ID, because again, this is what is meaningful for me, not the log source ID, which is meaningful for Curator. Count them and put it as total from the events group them by log source, order them by total in descending order for the last 10 days. Very simple. But if we also want to put the date on the, when, when the total of, of the, my talkative log sources, all I need to do is insert here this date format, device time. I just want the date, the, uh, I don't want the time as date, that's the name of the column. Then the rest uh, remains the same, but when I do the group by, I also put here group by date. If you want a counter for your events per second, here's a simple formula. So again, we get the log source name as we did before, and we put it as log source. And here are my small set of uh, log sources in my demo system. 
and then you use this formula. You take the sum of all the event counts divided by the time the, the start the end time minus start time divided by a thousand and you put that as EPSs. Uh, we can tweak this and reduce the number of decimals. Uh, uh, from events grouped by log source ordered by EPS in descending order. So you can see how quiet is my my system uh, for the last uh, 10 days.